This is Sean G. Rodwinski, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. And today I want to talk to you about creating a route specification template. Now, for those of you who have used routing, you know that you're prompted to choose a route template in the route properties dialog box. And the route properties dialog is used to tell the route what types of settings you want. This includes the size, any type of pipe schedules, and types of elbows you wish to use in your route. Now, if you wanted to change any of this, you'd have to manually do that, which can be time consuming if you're always using the same specific types over and over again. Well, there's a way to create a custom template that caters to your frequently used options. In order to create a route specification template, you'll need to go to the routing library manager. You can find this under tools, routing, routing tools, and you'll see routing library manager. This will open up in its own window. If we look at the piping and tubing database tab, we'll see that we have access to a variety of different components that are installed with a routing add-in. I can come in and choose a specific type of component I'm looking for under the type option. I'll choose pipe for this one. And this gives me all of the various pipes located in my database. And we can see that there are various different schedules pre-built onto those pipes. If I wanna make sure I choose the right schedule, this is where creating a custom route specification will come into play. To do this, we need to click on the Route Properties tab. From here, we can see what the default settings are set to when we're creating a route in SOLIDWORKS. If we wanna make a custom one, you'll notice that there is an Add New, Copy, and delete here at the top. You might be tempted to choose add new, but if you do, you'll notice that all of the fields are left blank. Until you become more familiar with the locations of files and how creating a new template works, I'd recommend copying so that you can get an idea of where to start from. So we'll select copy. This will allow us to copy the default and modify it to suit our needs. Once we've made a copy, we want to give it a name. I'm gonna call this one Schedule 80 only, so I know that I'm only dealing with components that are Schedule 80. I'm also going to check the box next to Use Schedule so I can search by the schedule name. Now, the first component I wanna change is the pipe. Notice how it says Schedule 40. I need to make sure I choose the right schedule for purchasing requirements. To change the pipe to reflect the Schedule 80, I need to click on the ellipsis icon just to the right. When I do that, I'm immediately brought into the piping and tubing database. Under the configuration name, I can filter and choose the Schedule 80 configuration. Now you'll notice there is this accept component here on the left. If I click that and I get the message, please select a component to be added in route property, that just means that I need to pre-select the component I want first and then I can click Accept Component. Once I accept the new component, the Routing Library Manager notifies me that the elbows do not match. I'll just choose OK to this message. And now I'm going to focus on the elbows. Again, we'll look for the ellipsis icon and click that. And I'll find a 90 degree elbow that satisfies the Schedule 80 requirements. Now it doesn't matter which one I choose as long as I choose a 90 degree Schedule 80 and I'll accept that component. You'll also notice there's a custom elbow area just below the default elbow. This is where I can specify any other types of elbows I would be using in the Schedule 80 template. If I click on the drop down, we'll see that there are no other elbows. Again, we don't wanna click on the add new just yet, so we'll click on the ellipsis just below. And I'll search for another fitting this time I'll choose a 45 degree elbow and add that. Once I see the new fitting located here, then I'll click add new. I'll add one more 180 degree elbow using the same process. After I've added all my elbows, if I click on the drop down below custom elbow, we can see all of the other fittings I added. Once I'm done, I'll click save and the routing library manager will tell me that the routing template saved successfully. Then I'll click okay. Now I don't need the routing library manager anymore, so I'll click exit. And when I drag and drop a new fitting from the routing design library, 
In the route properties, I'm able to see the new route specification template I just created. Once I select it, SOLIDWORKS will notify me that there is a change and it will override any existing information with my new route specifications. We can also verify that the pipe shows schedule 80 and that all of our elbows show up as well. Then I can start creating my routes using my Schedule 80 route specification. This is Sean by Fabrinsky, and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a route specification template in SOLIDWORKS.